There was a TV store around the corner, every corner. There's probably eight of them around here. Now we're the only one probably, few, most of the ones that I know, they all closed up years ago. Hello, everybody. Time to ask one or two questions, which you have probably asked. There are no new frontiers within our borders. To what new horizons can we look now? Where are tomorrow's opportunities? The frontiers of the future are not on any map. As long as there is a problem to be solved, or a desire to be met, American ingenuity will not rest. Unbreakable optical lenses for your glasses. Television. My name is Paul Gerby, P-A-U-L-G-E-R-B-I. Well, I'm president of TV Lab and Communications Incorporated. We're a business that basically sells and services consumer electronics, and uh, we've been servicing the northwest corner of Connecticut for 67 years. It's a long time. My dad started in 1950. My mother did the books. He uh, basically had, at one point, 13 people working for him. My father insisted that you know the base of electronics because if you don't know that, you're a trial and error man. And if you know the base, you know, he says you won't get stumped. And if you don't, you're just gonna be like everyone else. My mother used to say he used to have people waiting for him on a Thursday night four, five, six deep, just waiting to talk to him. When he started, he had a lot more competition. The thing was, there's fair competition and unfair competition. A place like Walmart can come in and maybe they don't offer the same exact model that you sell, but they offer 20 brands. And of course, they can chip away at your market share. When Walmart opened in town, uh, we had RCA, what Walmart basically did to us initially was to take RCA right out of the picture right away. We just couldn't compete with it price-wise. TVs have gotten so small and so light and so cheap. My father, who I say was a visionary, we used to complain about the, the flat screen glass ones, but he said, don't complain about the weight of the TV set because when they can put it in their basket, in their cart, and take it home with them, you're gonna be out of a job. And it almost, came, it almost comes to fruition. I think I would say around 2008, somewhere in there is where the crash was, is where I've seen the, the like a switch. Um, where, where things changed very quickly at that point from, from being, making money to not making money. Companies wanted to cut every which way they can and they cut the most from from the independent, the little guy. That's what we're seeing now. We're seeing the shrinkage and actually a disruption really of the industry. The business model has changed. You're seeing uh, with Best Buy, they had their problems. You saw Circuit City big chain go out. I don't think we missed too much. Uh, maybe that's why we've been here that long. Um, as I say, we never tried to lead anyone down the road uh, to, to buy something that uh, we didn't feel was worthy. 
the industry will continue to evolve. I think our field will will get more of a it, as it is now more of an installation based service field rather than um, a field where we're going to be fixing stuff. Being here for so long, it's it's now my second home. It's it's a fast moving business, and you have to be able to recognize this isn't going to be here anymore. I do not see the light at the end of the tunnel for this business. I don't see a place like Best Buy being Best Buy either. There's too much of a tipping of the scale from the big guy to the little guy. I don't think, um, I don't think there's a place, at least in this area, for a business like this. I think we've been successful because we treated everybody like we would want to be treated. And, uh, uh, we never cheated anybody. And uh, it's getting time for me to retire. So, uh, uh, I'll be here for a little while.